Hello, I'm Player State, and welcome to a new indie game video. Today, we're going to take a look at Beyond Shadow Gates, a sequel to a game, a point and click adventure game from back in the like, late 80s. First came out on the Mac, I think it was, uh, also on the NES and a few other 8 bit consoles. Uh, I think it, there's even a version on the N64. Um, I'm not sure about that one. But this is the sequel. Uh, it's kind of done in a similar kind of old school style. Um, but uh, but it's kind of out now, and it's again a point and click adventure. So let's jump in and take a look. I'd oh, just like to say thank you to the uh, developers for giving me a free review copy to take a look at. You are a carefree fenling named Del Thor Thornborough, who has the knack for accidentally acquiring things. You have been accused unjustly in your mind of stealing a small trinket from the hand of the Duchess of Tre Trehelm. Space. Most of the catches. The Duke didn't seem to understand that you were merely safekeeping the bauble for the Duchess. Against the riffraff and lowlifes that are commonly found in the capital city of Gwynethil. Unceremoniously dumped in this dark cell, you wonder at your fate and at the horrible luck that deprived you of, your fa of a fair trial. Forced from shouting and bored beyond the limits of even the most tolerant Fenling, you realise you might as well focus on escaping. All right, so we've got move, look, take, use, open, close, hit, speak. Very old fashioned. I don't know what this pace is. We've got self, what does that do? I don't know, and we've got, so we've got flint and farthing. The hulking figure of the guard approaches the door. Quiet, if you know what's best, it, else I'll come in there and teach you some manners. A maniacal chuckle follows the proclamation, lending credence to his threat. So look at the chains. These are sturdy iron chains designed to hold the strongest human in place without fail. Luckily, they were not designed to hold fendlings and you easily escaped moments after being locked up. All right, uh, oh, we could use the, fl why don't we use flint? What do you want to use this on? With great expertise, you strike the flint against the straw, creating a small shower of sparks. Despite your effort, None take hold, and a flame does not yet appear. All right. How about speak to the guard? The hulking figure of the guard approaches the door. Okay, says the same thing. Uh, what about look at the grate? This dark and damp cell confirms your belief that this is the most inhospitable dungeon in which you've been incarcerated. Um... I don't want these paces. Oh, move left and right. Oh, page. We've got goods and spells. Uh, the embers do little more than produce a little glow upon the straw. Uh, I think if we... I can we move anywhere. You're unable to move there. The door is a formidable bar barrier. You should know because you kicked at it for a good five minutes after you threw up, after they threw you in here. All right, let's just see. Can we open the door? No. He just says the same thing. Um, what's a, what's this farthing? It did not open. What? You cannot take it. Look at the th farthing. One piece of Fenling currency. They didn't even think it was worth taking from you when you when they threw you in the jail. Uh, can I try again with the flint? You jump with glee as the straw slowly starts to burn. Oh, we've got fire again. Smelling the smoke, the guard comes rushing to the cell. You hear keys jangling as he releases the lock and pulls the door open. Surprisingly quick for such a heavy man, the jailer rushes forward and grabs you by the neck. You'll not be playing any more of ye your silly games, says the jailer as he begins to choke you. As his hands tighten and the world begins to fade, you wonder if the guy knows he has bad breath. Okay, so that just kills me. <laughs> With your demise, the land of Kaltoril fell to ruin. 
<laughs> okay. Alright, so if I do that, that just kills him. Kills me. Uh, what if I put the farthing... No. That doesn't work. Uh... The item is useless here. Right, look at the bench. Judging by the scrape, scrape marks, you guess that this bench is not bolted to the floor. How about I move the bench? You cannot move there. No, no, move bench. Take bench? You failed to take it. What about, um, use bench? Grunting with some effort, you push the heavy bench across the cell until it rests against the front of the door. Uh, what about if I use the chains? Nothing happens. Move the chains? You cannot move there. Right, use the chains here. What you expected did not happen. All right, let's try. Should we try the fire again then? Right, we need to do it twice. Oh, no, I need to blow it. Smelling the smoke, the guard comes rushing to the cell. You, yeah, okay, same thing. In his haste to rip your head from your shoulders, he fails to notice the bench. You cannot help but smile at the astonishing look on his face before he takes a rather ungraceful dive and drops his key ring in the process. Take keys. You pick up the jailer's keys. Move. You literally jump over the bench as you exit the cell. Realizing you are still in a dungeon, you stifle your excitement and keep your eyes open for danger. Knowing that the door to your cell is still open, you wonder if that guard could still be a threat. Uh, can I not? Uh, yeah, I mean... Where was the door? Like, he's killed me. I, I was trying to find where the door was. Alright, let's do that again. <laughs> oh, wait, you just come here. That's okay. Um, Where's the door, though? Like, can I look around? You hear the sound of movement echoing in the distance. Can I use the jailer's keys? What do you want to use them on? The door. Where's the door though? Like, is that the door? No. Oh, come on, man. Like, <laughs> it's very old fashioned. Like, giving you no help. I know I need to lock the door, but where the hell is the door? No, that's just going to get me killed. That's obviously moving in the map. Because, like, am I missing something? Settings. There's no... No, there's no, like... But I can't move around. <sighs> Receive no reply. How about we look up here? Even standing on your toes, you can't see out of the window. Can I open there? You cannot open that. Right, if I move down the corridor, I'm dead. If I move back down the corridor, I'm dead. I want to use it on the door. I don't understand. Use the jailer's keys on myself. Nothing happened. Uh, uh. You hear the sound of movement echoing in the distance. Close. It did not close. <laughs> close. You cannot close it. No, it did not. You quickly close the cell. I mean, where was that? I mean, where did I, like, uh, come on, man. Like, I just, 
That takes care of the brute, you think? An ephemeral creature appears before you. It speaks. Tee hee, look at you, Dell. What an interesting thing you are. I foresee, foresaw you rotting in that cell forever. And yet, here you are, defying your fate. This could be such fun. I believe our journeys follow a similar path. So, I will join you for now. Much danger lies ahead, and I will give you advice should it please me. Adventure awaits, and I find this dungeon quite tiresome, so let's go! Wait, am I missing something? Because I can't see anybody. Anyway, let's go down the... What? That, that does not close. Okay, we need to move. Alright, look at... I've got some guy up here. A hulking beast, a minotaur by the looks of the horns, patrols the hallways mere feet in front of you. As you investigate the locked cell door, you notice it is stained. Your stomach gives a lurch, hoping the stain is not what you think it is. The wooden boards are too tightly jammed into their brackets to move. You are familiar enough with dungeons to know there is no unlocking this door. This rusted iron grill is securely fastened on into place. The putrid smell it emits immediately tells you what it's commonly used for. This hall leads towards the cell you previously inhabited. Oh, we've got a torch. The flickering light from the torch momentarily mesmerizes you. You are not tall enough to remove the torch from its holder. You don't feel like you need it anyway. But right, let's try using the jailer's keys on this door over here. With a satisfying click, the bolt inside the lock releases. The hinge groans as the door slowly opens. Right, let's have a look at this guy. The dried stain on the floor around the skeleton matches that of the door. You wonder who this person was that suffered such a horrible fate. It's a fine leather strap with the crest of Gwynethel engraved in the diamond-shaped central divot. Take. You remove the remnants of the strap from the skeleton. The ominous sounds of steps can only be the mon Minotaur approaching. You decide stealth is your only chance for survival. As your mind races, your new friend pipes up. Tee hee! The eyes of the Reaper are upon us. Such fun! You have mere seconds before death takes you. Hide or you will die. Um. Okay, move. Your feet will not take you there. Your feet will not take you there. Where am I going to go? Okay, so I'm dead. Without warning, the hulking figure of the Minotaur appears in front of you, crushing the skeleton under its weight. Before you can utter a sound, an axe tears your body asunder. Mercifully, your death took but a heartbeat. Okay, this is incredibly punishing. Can I close the door? There isn't a close, is there? Use door, nothing happens. Use door. Is this the door here? What you expected did not happen. Use the skeleton. Nothing happened. But I'm dead. <laughs> I fit there, man. Maybe, uh... Stay out of sight of the guards, follow their patrol, but remain far behind. Yeah, but... I can't go anywhere. Like, what I would like is if at least I could... Like, there is nothing telling me what I am mousing over, which is a bit frustrating. Because, like... Can I go backwards? Your feet will not take you there. Move that way and then you just get killed. Uh, and then, there's be, then there being a time pressure, so I have to keep doing this over and over again. Close the door. Okay, so he catches the faintest trait of your scent and stands firm just outside the doorway. You hear the heavy thud of footsteps echo in the distance as the Minotaur gives up and continues his patrol. You survived again. Remember this, Del. You must act quickly when you sense the Reaper's gaze or you will surely perish. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, I noticed that. Move. Move. 
This locked cell door is strongly built, ensuring that those in prison within will not get out. So we use the jailer's keys on the door. Then we open the door. And then we move into the door. The Minotaur continues his patrol, stopping just outside the cell. You hear his breath beyond the door, sending chills through your body. Close the door. The Minotaur continues his patrol. You are safe for now. Um, let's have a look. So you keep a wary eye on the filthy prisoner, hoping that he won't touch you and give you some disease. Okay, that's again. Um, I suppose I can talk to him. Who are you, Fenling? It matters not. I am Edward of the King's Guard, Master of the Artillery Division. Moons ago, we were escorting the King to the southern docks when we were ambushed by assassins. While many soldiers of the Guard were killed, a few of us were imprisoned here to rot. The smells of this dungeon are of Gwynethel, which tells me that friend has turned foe. I know nothing else, but I may be able to help you. You have no hope in combat against the Minotaur. Perhaps you can use this rope to build a ranged weapon. Find a cradle and a small projectile. Take rope. You lean forward and extend your fingers far to grab the rope. Trying to keep as far away from the melodious prisoner as possible. Can I use leather, ro leather strap with the rope? So I've got a sling. You're not sure if you should feel mischievous or heroic at the moment. Use sling with the farthing. The item does not work. Alright, well, let's go see if we can take down the Minotaur with this. Minotaur. Use sling. What do you want to use this on? The item is useless here, but I got a farthing. Sure, I can use that. Uh, anyway, let's open the door. No, no, sorry. Use Jailer's keys on the door. And then open the door and move into the door. The Minotaur continues his patrol, stopping just... Yeah, okay. <laughs> you hear his breath, blah, 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 blah. Uh, close the door. And he continues onwards. Staring at the unfortunate man, you can't help but think about your uncle's cousin's nephew who was thrown into a dungeon much like this one. He stayed there for three days before realizing that the guards didn't lock the door. In this case, however, the sturdy manacles set about his ankle tells a different story. Uh, speak. Listen, Fenling, go quickly from here, lest we both be killed. Escape this dungeon. Tell the people that Joshua, the king's council, is unjustly imprisoned. It has been ages since our party was assaulted and the king captured. They intend us to die here, but I refuse. I pried this stone from the wall, but these forsaken manacles cannot be broken. Take it, find a way out, and free us from this pit. Now ah, I've got the stone. I don't know why I couldn't use the farthing. I guess the farthing's too small. You take the hard circular stone from the prisoner's hands. Use stone on the sling. Loaded sling. Now, uh, open the door. Move out. And use loaded sling on the Minotaur. With a sling in your hand, you prepare to ambush the beast. Unfortunately, he sees you and leaps from his post. As soon as you start twirling the sling, you feel a magical influence take over your body. Death to the Philistine, you cry as you release the stone. With a sharp crack, the stone connects with the Minotaur's forehead toppling him instantly. Elated, you resolve to never admit the shot was sheer luck. Or explain why you randomly called a seven-foot half-man half-bull a philistine. Right, let's take a look at this guy. You reach for the axe to finish off the Minotaur. Despite pulling off, pulling with all your might, you fail to even budge the weapon. You decide to escape quickly before the beast awakens. Okay, so now we need to use Jailer's keys on this door. The side, you sigh with dismay as you finish trying the last of the keys. The door must be barred on the other side to prevent an escape. There must be another way out of this dungeon. Oh, no. Oh, stop it. 
Okay, so use Jailer's keys. Just slide the key into the air. Okay, we're going to clean it open. Don't need to read everything. Uh, open door. Move through door. Looks like there's nothing in here. Although, the grate is bent just enough for you to fit your fingers underneath. Unfortunately, it is too heavy to lift with your hands. With your hands alone. Okay, so we need to go find something to use as a crowbar to lever it. Unless, look at the bench. You notice that a thick layer of dust seems to be resting on everything within the cell. It's obvious that this particular room hasn't been used for a very long time. Right, let's try the far door. Okay, look at this dude. The regal bearing of this man is not diminished by his unkempt appearance. The weary prisoner looks up at you. A glimmer of hope fills his eyes. He says, I know not who thou art, little one, but I have no choice but to trust thee. Know that I am King Arondi, Lord of Cal Torlin, Warder of the Southern Seas, and still do I live. Listen carefully, my wayward friend. Fiends have usurped my castle, imprisoned me and my loyal confidence without, within this dungeon for reasons unknown. Without the royal seal, the claim to the throne cannot be legitimate, and another ruler may come to occupy my lands. Suddenly you hear the jailer, whom you gallantly knocked out, thank you very much. Oh, who you gallantly knocked out, thank you very much, start yelling at the top of his lungs. The king looks alarmed, his speech quickening. Take this! He rips the emblem from his sleeve and hands it to you. Find the barkeeper. He and others I trust will recognize my crest. They will show you the way into my castle. Outside the cell, the jailer continues to bellow. The royal seal is obscured by sorcery. There is a scroll containing the disenchantment spell behind a loose stone in a castle stair. Seek the hidden way from my chamber and say to thyselves the words from the scroll. Quickly now, ye must leave before the guards return. Yeah, but I've got, oh no, oh no, what's this? Take this thing here. You lift the tipper bone from the floor. Uh, move. And then use tibia bone on the grate. You wedge the bone underneath the bent grate and push down with all your might. Something gives way and the grate flies open just as the bone snaps apart. Oh, we're out. Fearlessly, you jump down into the drain thinking that it can't be any worse than an enraged minotaur. You fall an indeterminable distance before hitting cold water. Gasping for air, you bob to the surface of a subterranean river. A moment later, you wash ashore, shivering and coughing. You pick yourself up and continue your damp but daring escape. You can see a passageway carved out of rock. At the end, a bucket rests in a pool of water. So that's a kind of, um, a kind of, that's a well. You shiver uncontrollably as you look into the swiftly flowing river. You were never noted for your swimming abilities and the thought of braving the water again fills you with dread. An underground river flows swiftly through this cavern. Let's see, yeah. uh, what's this here? Is this something I can... No, this is the river. What about the stones? Right, what can we... Can we move over here? Against your better judgment, you plunge headlong into the river. Circumstances happen much the way you expected as the fast-moving wit water whisks you away down the tunnel. You are tumbled and bounced against the rough rocks walls until you lose consciousness and drown in the swirling waters. The Reaper has come for me again. Okay. Um, can I move that way? You aren't able to move there. So I've got the king. Can I look? All right, let's have a look at the king's emblem. It is a tattered emblem of a raven flying across a field of red. The king said the barkeep would know what to do with it. Um, what about using the farthing in the river? <laughs> you don't see any reason to throw away the only money you're currently holding. Things would have to be pretty desperate for you to do that. I don't have any... No. Can I talk... What about talking to him? For some reason, you don't know how to swim. Not my problem. 
but you'll need to improvise a way across without a bridge. Um... Is there, any, is there anything else I can look at? Nope, just the same thing. Like, none of these stones. Just the part, pass, passageway. A dim glow illuminates this passageway. Uh, okay. Take the dim glow. You cannot take it. <laughs> uh, use the dim glow? It did not work. Uh, what about if I... Oh. The item was no, I can't use it on the river. Um, you cannot take it. Can I take one of these stones? You failed to take it. Yeah. Hmm. Stumped. I use the. Can I throw the farthing over to the bucket? No, I can't. What about? Uh, use the jailer's keys. No, use jailer's keys. For the king's emblem. No, I maybe create some kind of like thing I can throw to. Uh, oh no, that's the water in it. I'm dead. <laughs> I wonder why it keeps... Can I take this? You cannot take it. Can I take this? You cannot take it. Is there a reason why it's put me back up here when I die? Have I left something behind? No, I can't take. I feel like because it's putting me up here, I must have left something behind that stops me from from um, being able to go across. Let's move into the water and let. I mean, because there's nothing down there. I've, I've kind of exhausted everything. I think. So we're not going to go this way. Nothing else in here. Can I speak to this guy? Is he going to do it? Good luck, Fenling. I sense you need it more than me. These strong wooden boards are used for barring the door. Judging by their size, you quickly realise there's no getting in or out of this cell. Can I take... You failed to take it. What about the one over here? It cannot be taken. Hmm, uh, what about... Hey, uh, oh, no, you failed to take it. How about... Oh, can I take this one? You failed to take it. What about the torch? You cannot take it. Uh, can I move the bench? You're unable to move. No, the move the bench. I want to move the bench. I don't there's anything. Can I take this? You failed to take it. Um... Anything else in here? Oh, what about... You cannot... What about moving the bench? You feel that... Your feet will not take you there. I don't know then, like... <laughs> we just got the... The river. What's tab do? Oh, look, move, take. Page, page, quit. Space. Oh, that was like a map. Oh, I can go into the cave. What is going on, man? I tried that. 
You hear scratching and scuffling sounds coming from beyond this passageway. This damp and dreary cavern is a glow with light reflected off the water's surface. A waterfall feeds the powerful river behind you. Uh oh. You have absolutely no idea what this creature is. But it appears to be some sort of mutation straight out of one of your grandfather's famous tales. You vow to take his stories a little more seriously from now on. Can I speak? No, the beast looks at you, making you feel decidedly uncomfortable. It can smell the farthing in your pocket. It surely wants to add it to its collection. Even if it has to rip you apart to get it. Uh, use the farthing. With a quick lunge, the hulking beast attacks you, ripping out a good-sized portion of your neck. The beast claims its prize, a shiny new fenling farthing, plucked straight from the cold, dead hand of a genuine fenling. Okay, that's not the way. All right, let's move here. What about use the farthing? Nothing happens. What about use jailer's keys? Nothing happened. Um, what about if I take try to take? Oh, he's looking at me. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Move forward. It's a large hoard of gleaming silver farthings that any thief would be willing to kill for. How about we try to take this and then we move away and we keep moving away and then we use the farthing on the river. Yeah! You pull your lucky Fenling Farthing from your pocket. The creature stares at the coin as you hurl it into the water. With something resembling a squeal of pleasure, the beast plunges into the swirling waters. It forages along the bottom of the river looking for the shiny coin. With a hop, skip and a jump, you quickly leap from the beast's back and safely cross the river. Well, this surely is a well. At least it's some sign of civilization. You feel relief as freedom is close at hand. After an exhausting climb, your hand grasps the lip of the well as the rope snaps free and falls below. Panting and hanging on for your life, you grab the stone wall with both hands and clamber over the lip of the well. You land in the mud with a dull thud, knocking the wind out of yourself. Luckily, no one saw your embarrassing fall. Easy as pie, you gasp, whilst catching your breath and thinking there's not a dungeon in the world that could hold you. Looking ahead, you see city streets expand before you. A sigh of relief escapes you as the sun warms your face. Suddenly, the charge of the king echoes through your mind. Find the seal, expose the traitors and save our kingdom. Remembering the king's plight, you steal your nerves and step forth into the capital city of Gwynethel. Your determination to help is strong, an unusual feeling for a Fenling, but you sense you'll end up regretting this decision. Right, we're gonna save it there, I think. Progress saved. Okay, so that's Beyond Shadowgate. Um, as you can tell, it's very old school <laughs> in its uh, design, um, with quick deaths, left, right, and center. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, it, the, 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 the puzzles are there like you can see they're not obtuse um, I would like I would have liked I have to say a bit more guidance on like what I can interact with on the screen because I'm just kind of like mindlessly clicking it feels like old school in terms of like if you played point and click adventures from like the late 80s early 90s you know kind of like mousing your uh, moving your mouse over the whole screen to try and find what you need to interact with whereas here you can't even do that because there is nothing that lights up so you just kind of like Look, 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 use, use, use everything. <laughs> and sometimes it makes sense. So like, I'm sure there's something to use here. This looks like it's something I can pick up. Um, but yeah, obviously these bits here, when I was getting stuck, not knowing what I needed to do when getting out of the cell, there was uh, one of those intractable things here and one there. So if I had just closed, click close on this, it would have closed the door behind me, but it wasn't that clear to me at the time. But yeah, I enjoyed that. Um, 
a tad frustrating here and there, but it's quite nice to, quite neat to play something that's kind of quite old school like that. So if it looks like your kind of thing, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out. It's out on Steam now. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you like the video, uh, if you could subscribe so you can keep up to date with everything I put out. Um, I put about three videos out a week. So yeah, that'd be great if you could do that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.